you have clicked on notation. What notation is, is it's basically the language of the Rubik's Cube. So we actually write it out and we read it and we interpret that into the movements of the cube. So you're going to notice that there are six sides to a cube. For this demonstration, I'm going to have the, the blue in front, the white on the bottom, and that means the red is on the right. Also, you're going to notice that opposite white is yellow, opposite orange is red, and opposite blue is green. So for this demonstration, I'm going to keep white on the bottom and blue in front of me. So the way we look at this is there's a right side, a left side, an upper face, a downward face, a front face, and a back face. And they are written out just by the first letter of each of their names. So this is R. This is L. This is F. This is B. This is U for upper. And this is D for downward. So every time that you see an R, it means to move it clockwise. And I know that this is clockwise because if I turn the right side towards me, I'm moving it clockwise. Same with if I see a U, I move that clockwise as well. And if I have an L, I move the L clockwise. So you're going to notice that an R move clockwise is the opposite way of an L move clockwise because when you're looking at the face, it's backwards from one another. Same with the face one. So here's F clockwise turns this way. B clockwise turns the other way because if you were to look at the back side, it's the opposite way. Same with U. Here's U clockwise. Now D clockwise is the other way because if we were to look at the face, it would go the other way. So you have to really be mindful of this. Now when we look at things counterclockwise, we put an R and then a little tick next to it. That means R prime or R I as some people say it. So I, I say it as R prime. So that's what I'm going to be using throughout this entire tutorial series. So when you see an R with the little uh, tick next to it, that means counterclockwise. So an R counterclockwise. If you see a U with a tick next to it, that means U counterclockwise. And that goes for every single one of the sides. It's going to take a bit of practice before you can get it down really fast by reading it into being able to move it. But don't worry, it won't be long and you'll be able to get it. Now another one is sometimes you'll have a move that says U2. And that means you turn it twice, 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter which way you turn it. You could turn it clockwise 180 degrees or counterclockwise 180 degrees. It doesn't really matter. So when we see a D2, that means the down one 180 degrees. Same with B2. That means the back side 180 degrees. Now that you know notation, we can go ahead and learn the cube. So click anywhere on the screen and be brought back to the home page and start learning how to complete the cross.